Have you guys ever wanted some ideas on perhaps how to store those tools and bits of equipment in your vehicle? Well, let's have a look in the Tradmobile today and see how we've got things organized. That's all coming up today on Window Cleaning Resource on YouTube. Thanks for watching windowcleaner.com. Make sure to give us a thumbs up and subscribe. Okay guys, so let's go and have a look at the inside of the Tradmobile. So let's start with the doors. What's on the doors? Well, we've got a simple plastic box here that holds my two bucket and a belt. It's simply held with two screws that just go into the door. It's a very simple modification, but it's very, very handy. And what I use this for is just anything that's basically kind of quite wet. You don't want that all over your floor. So things like, you know, wet towels, rags, things like that, um, wet applicators, bucket and a belt, things like that. It'll just collect into here. Um, and then basically I can sort that out when I get home kind of idea. You. So it's nice and easy to access. You open up the doors and when I'm finished with the bucket on a belt, then I can just chuck that away in the box. So it's nice and handy because I keep my trad belt on all day. So these are the only two items I take off and chuck them in the van, shut the doors and away I go. Next, we've got the Mormon Aquafill. We've got that just hanging up on the door there. So anytime, maybe I run out of water during the day, which is quite rare. I normally take enough with me, but if I ever do, then I can attach this Mormon Aquafill to any tap and uh, fill up my container again. So what have we got on the other side? This is the Ford Transit Connect. So that comes with a nice little sort of pocket thing here. And I keep my blades for scrapers and an end cone, just basically bits and bobs, little items. Up here, I basically got a little ring that holds this towel. And basically what I use that for is drying my hands after I've been at work um, between jobs. Just kind of dry my hands on there. We've got the shelving unit, okay. So this is where I keep all my weapons of choice. So my father helped me put these bits of shelving in. He was a joiner before he became a window cleaner. Um, so very handy. So up top, we've got the microfiber smooth cloths. We've got the uh, sill cloths for doing frames and that kind of thing. Uh, and we've got the Tradman toolbox, the detergents, okay. So we've got the Mormon Squeeze Deluxe. We've got some fairy liquid. Um, I keep some of this, this is white grease. I use that, um, you know, for the clamps, that hold your ladders down. Um, basically when the threads on that get a little bit rusty, white grease is quite handy just to get that lubricated and moving again. We've got a TDS meter in here for the water fed pole system. And we've also got this stuff, which is the pink stuff. This is very, very good. I have to give a big shout out to DA Components. It was uh, Darren Ansbro that put me on to this stuff. So but a combination of this, the pink stuff, and bronze wool. And it's beautiful for PVC frames and lots of other things too. Like we've got the Tradman toolbox there and a lovely window cleaning resource sticker. Yum, yum. Anyway, we've got the squeegee rubbers on the next shelf down. Very handy little shelf here. So this is 36 inch lengths. We've got at the moment of Mormon Duraflex Soft rubber we've got there. So it's very handy, just keep it nice and flat. And um, we've got some scrapers at the back there. So we've got the Mormon four inch scraper and the Ninja six inch Unger scraper in there as well. We've got this short little ladder here, which is just used for sort of little bungalows, things like that, that I can't quite reach. If I'm doing a first clean, it's nice to get up on the ladders and uh, get into all the nooks and crannies with that. And we've got a little sign here. It says, caution, window cleaning in progress. And for some reason, there's a picture of a fish. Don't ask me why, I have got no flipping idea. Anyway, moving on. Okay, so we've got the all important CD radio player, heating system that sometimes works. We've got the fans, sometimes work, the speedo that sometimes works, and generally everything else that sometimes works. And over here, we've got the purified water. So we've got 25 litre drums and four of them. So I'm mainly a traditional window cleaner, guys. Um, but sometimes I break out the water fed pool where it would make jobs easier or safer to do. I'll use this facelift backpack. Now you get lots of different kinds of backpacks. So you've got there's a gardener one and there's some I saw on Amazon as well. Um, so yeah, it's very good. I think it's 22 litres, this one. Um, but you have to purify the water yourself. Fill up the tank with purified water, switch it on down here and the flow controls. So that all just gets stored away on the right hand side here. Just got a little bungee holding it to the side of the van. Let's have a look up top. 
Now we've got these, which is four inch down pipe. So how is that screwed in? Well, we've got self tapping screws just into here. So what this was, this was old straps off of a, I think it was a bag or something like that. It was maybe a rucksack, something like that, wasn't using anymore. So just me and my father, we cut some lengths of that off. Some self tapping screws in here. Same again down there and down there. And then we've got a shorter one over here as well. Same kind of idea. Got straps with self tapping screws. So basically the right hand side of the van is nice and organized with the water fed pole stuff and the left hand side of the van is all the traditional gear so it's all nicely laid out um, i'll probably get another downpipe again at some point because i've actually got this third pole here so just to explain i've got a long pole a traditional long pole this gardener slx 30 foot carbon fiber uh, which i've just kind of modified slightly to hold the accelerator and liquidator combination for doing high traditional pull work. So it's a nice combination there. Um, and then that one there is the awesome ultimate 40 foot pole, zero pole from windowcleaningresource.com. We'll leave the links in the description below to, to these things. Um, so yeah, so that's the two pole holders that hold the traditional pole, big pole, and the water fed pole. Um, so at some point I will need to get another downpipe to hold this one which is the brand new all improved telescopic limited al 14 foot pole so it's a nice short collapse length on this pole here we've actually just done a video an unboxing of that so you can maybe head over and check that out on the tradman channel you'll see that and uh, yeah so that, that is basically it guys so there we have it guys hopefully that's given you some ideas on maybe possible layouts possible storage ideas for your vehicle now i know obviously not everyone has a van but there are some modifications that you can do to your car if you'd uh, like to obviously do something similar and uh, it's not a rental car don't do it to a rental car uh yeah so hopefully that's been of some use to you guys thank you ever so much for watching it is really much appreciated and uh, we just like to ask you, please, 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 and one more please, to subscribe and like and share, if possible, the video. That'd be awesome. Again, be good, take care, thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye for now. Thanks for watching windowcleaner.com on YouTube. If you liked the video, please thumbs up and subscribe. And make sure to check back every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday so you don't miss a video. And if you tear up at just the thought of not having Tradman for a whole week, check out his channel, Tradman, on YouTube.